Good morning from Jonesboro, Arkansas, 4 15 a.m., June 22nd, 2023. Today I'm going to talk about how Carvana tried to screw me with my trade in, or at least I say they did. You make the call. It could be you agree with them, but I have sold cars to Carvana before, I've traded them in before, and the only picture they've ever wanted was the dash turned on so that they can see if there's any warning signs and for the odometer. But now they request four pictures of the outside, which only makes sense. Why did they do this before? But they're using those pictures to do what traditional dealers do. A lot of times when I trade in at a traditional dealer before Carvana existed, or even after, before they give you your low ball offer, They'll start pointing things out. Well, there's a little scratch here, a little dent there. You have to be realistic, Mr. McFink. And matter of fact, I was buying a truck once as a Dodge truck and it had scratches all down the side. It looked just like somebody went through the weeds or brushes or something and some tree limbs scratched it. It was very light. And we was trying to come to a deal and I said, man, look at this. It's got scratches all over it. And he said, well, that'll buff right out, Mr. McFank. That's not a big deal. And I told him, I said, well, maybe not. But if I was trading in, I guarantee you, you'd be pointing them out. But anyway, that's what Carvana does now. Here's the email I got. Thank you for uploading the photos, blah, 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 blah. Skip all that. After reviewing your photos, we have rerun the appraisal with blah, 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 giving you an updated value of 14372 Before this, they offered me it was either $15,016 and $16 or 15400 and something. I can't remember what order that was. But over the short term lately, they've offered me fifteen four and 15016 So they either dropped it about $1,100 or they dropped it about uh, $628, $644 or so. So about $650 or about $1,100, one or the other, after looking at these pictures. Now, I thought on here it told why they did it. Uh, let's see. I thought it talked about exactly. Maybe it was the blah, blah, blah part. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe I had to click on this to find out. Anyway, somewhere I, they said, maybe on the web page, they said because of scratches on the front and some other scratches and whatnot. So let's take a look. These are the pictures I sent. Now, let's zoom in. There you go. You make the call. How's that look? Now, one thing they didn't point out, the rims, they didn't show too well. Man, I'm telling you, it didn't show up, but these rims are, are pretty bad shape. They had a lot of curve damage. I was afraid when, if I sold the car bottom, they showed up. The uh, guy or girl they sent out here would be would point to it and not like it. I didn't think they would because Carvana, in my as far as I know, they usually show up and take it and don't act like they even care. All right, so that's one picture. Let's go to the next one. Now, I do know, I remember for sure they said scratches on the front bumper. I think they mean maybe this down here. Maybe. You know, a lot of this is dirt and filth and I didn't bother cleaning it. I've always, you know, some people say clean your car before you take it to the dealer for a trade-in, but I've always believed it ain't going to matter. Dealers know it's going to be, they don't care that it's dirty. I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. But look at that. I mean, this is all dirt and grime. Okay, so there you go. Look at the third picture. Let's see here. Again, these wheels are also scratched up. I'm telling you, the previous owner loved hitting some curves. Okay, I think that's a shadow right there. Okay, right there. All right, and one more picture. Also, same picture of the dash. There's no need in looking at that. Okay, and that's uh, about the same. It is. That's about the same. And I normally don't bother covering up my tag. The way I see it, everybody on the road sees it. I mean, what is anybody going to do with that information? I don't know. I know most people do, but I don't. But I don't. For some reason, I just covered it up this time. I don't know why. <laughs> I normally don't care. But there you go. That's what they're complaining about right there. Why? I, I don't know. But anyway, they told me to get lost. But 
here is the new car that we traded in. When I traded in to Chip at Hybrid and Electric Car Sales, I sent him those same pictures. He asked for them. When I told him Carvana was screwing me over, this deal wasn't going to happen, he asked for the pictures. Or maybe I just sent them to him, that's right, and said, here's what Carvana's doing, and sent him the pictures. And he asked me if there's anything wrong with it besides the shift to park problem and the wheel damage. I told him no. And so he gave, he said, okay, I'll give you 25000 for it. No, 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 no. He didn't say 25000 That's what I, no, he didn't offer me 25000 for it. Matter of fact, I'm not going to tell you what he offered. Just because it's going to be on his site soon, and I'm, I'm not sure he'd want that information out there. Unless people could use that against him to try to negotiate a deal, maybe. So I'm not going to say until he sells it, and then I might if it comes up. But uh, yeah, he offered me a price on it, and I said, okay, I'll do that. Because selling the car Vaughn was a problem. I got to figure out how to get to Franklin, Tennessee to pick up the new car anyway. This took care of that problem. But here we go 2021 Kia Nero EV, 15,800 miles. Here's what Carvana is offering. Carvana is insane. That's way too low for this car. I'm telling you, when they, they do the low ball offer thing now. They do. Low ball offers. Now, I, I sh maybe I shouldn't say that. My vote was not really a low ball offer. Even at their adjusted price, I thought it was low, but it w I wouldn't consider it insulting. I might be surprised with this. If I went and saw a traditional dealer, maybe that's all they'd give me on this too. But I I no longer take these offers to heart. I never did really, but now they mean nothing to me. Because now I know Carvana plays with these numbers. I know now they they uh, like act like flim flam artist. Would they give me twenty one one eighty two for this car if I just had to sell it? Probably not. I'll probably submit four pictures and they'd be like, "Well, we're gonna drop the value because you know your car is just okay." That's what they did. They dropped my vote from pretty great to just okay. Those pictures, after looking at those pictures, they decided it was just okay. Now, seriously, they dropped it. They just, where I clicked on here, part of the process is to click the condition of your car, and the choices are three choices. Pretty great, just okay, or kind of rough. I picked pretty great. They changed it to just okay, and that's what dropped the value. Anyway, Carvana sucks. Man, Five years ago, when I first started this channel, I slurped all over Carvana. I know I mentioned that before. I loved this company. I thought they're the greatest thing since sliced bread. I thought, man, Carvana, you don't have to deal. You don't have to deal with all of these games that your traditional dealers make you deal with. Well, now you're playing those same games, but the only thing is, it's online. Carvana does the same thing now. Man, this company has fallen so freaking far. And we never will know if this type of dealership is pro can be profitable or not because Carvana is horribly run. Horribly run. If they were run by people that actually knew what they were doing, could they have made a profit? And if they hadn't had so much debt, they've got so much debt they'll never get out of it. This company is a dead company walking. But anyway, all right, that's about all. What do you think about this crappy company? I mean, what, what do you think about this company? I don't want to put any ideas out there. <laughs> For, that might influence your decision, how you feel about this piece of uh, th this, this company. All right. Bye.